a tale of kindness. A while ago, in the village of Haripur, there lived a girl named Pinky who lived with her mother. After her father's death, Pinky's mother worked at the landlord's house to make ends meet. Being very poor, Pinky's mother became very sad and fell ill. One day, Pinky's mother's health was not good at all. Mother, your health is not well today. I won't let you go to work. Instead, I'll go in your place. No, dear, you're too young. The landlady makes you work too much. You'll get tired. No, you won't be able to do it. No, mother, I can't let you go. Instead of you, I'll go. Saying this, Pinky leaves the house for the landlord's house. The landlord's wife was very cruel. She made Pinky work a lot all day. When Pinky started to return home in the evening, the landlord's wife gave her leftovers to eat. This food is spoiled, ma'am. Come on, take this or leave it. This is all I have. If you don't want it, then don't take it. Crying, Pinky leaves the food there <laughs> and returns home. Both mother and daughter sleep with hungry stomachs. The next day, Pinky goes to the landlord's house again. But this time, when she returns, she doesn't have any money to give to her mother. She just hands her a piece of bread to eat. Eating that bread worsens Pinky's mother's condition. Pinky rushes to a doctor in the village. The doctor asks, Do you have my fees? You came to disturb me at night? Pinky pleads a lot, but the doctor refuses. She returns home feeling very sad. On the way, she sees an old woman who is having difficulty walking. Oh, old lady, where are you going? Dear, I've lost my stick. I can't walk without it. Pinky breaks a strong branch of a tree, makes a stick out of it, and gives it to the old woman. Live long, daughter. You're very kind. Pinky moves forward. Hey, listen, calls out the old woman suddenly. As Pinky turns back, she sees not the old woman, but a beautiful fairy. I was testing you. You passed. I know everything about you. Here, take this. This is a magical box. It will fulfill all your wishes. Pinky is overjoyed. Returning home, Pinky tells her mother everything. She uses the magical box to cure her mother and transform their broken down house into a beautiful home. She gets everything they need from the magical box. On the other hand, when the landlady finds out, she is astonished at how all this happened. She stealthily steals the magical box and runs away. On the way, a huge snake appears in front of her. Ah, oh, I'm dead! Help! I'm dead! Hearing her screams, everyone gathers around. Seeing the landlady in that condition, everyone gets worried. Among those people was Pinky, too. When she sees the magical box, Pinky understands everything. She grabs the box and tells it to recover her and also tell the landlady to apologize to everyone. The landlady's wound heals completely. The landlady cries in front of everyone. <laughs> Pinky forgives her. <laughs> <laughs>